It's freaking snowing outside. My phone's getting wet. I gotta go in. It's cold. My lips are chapped. I have a package. <laughs> and I know what it is. How many times have I said that in my videos? This should be a USB thinking magic, and it is. Awesome. Basically, this is a USB 3.0 card reader. I got this because I wanted to see if it was faster than the internal one inside my Asus G74SX that I have several videos on. Well, actually a few. And also, sometimes like when I'm transferring the footage for my DSLR that I'm recording this video with, sometimes maybe I want to transfer stuff to a micro SD card or something else, and I'm using that one slot that I have. So this is exactly why I got this. Now I'm just gonna open it up. Oh, they put tape on it. Was it prepared to cut tape? Now I will definitely have links to this in the description of the video you're currently watching. Comes like a little booklet, and that's pretty much that. Here you go, I'll show you what all it says right here. Compact and portable design, plug and play, hot swapping supports SDXC up to two terabytes. Holy cow. All right, throw that to the side. Let's uh, open this up. It's cool. Now, this will work with USB 2.0, keep that in mind. You just won't get the USB 3.0 speeds, which unless you have a really fast card, I don't think that you're gonna get that much of a speed improvement anyway. So we'll find out here in a second. I honestly wanna know if this is faster than the one that's built to my laptop. If it is, I'll use this one for transferring footage, but I don't know, we'll have to find out. You got full size SD, you've got like the other cards, I don't know what that is, never used it, and that's the CF card, and then that's a micro SD card slot for like, you know, your EVO 3D, EVO 4 gel to e uh, anything like that. Oh, it says right here, um, CF, MS, oh, memory stick, like the Sony memory stick things for Sony cameras and stuff, SD, and then whatever TF, oh, TF is uh, the little cards and phones and stuff, so... That's pretty cool. I'm gonna hook this up to the computer and I'm gonna find out how fast it is. All right, so the first thing you're gonna notice probably is that the audio is not coming out of my camera, not my Samsung Go mic that I used at the beginning of this video. And they're doing construction, so you're gonna hear some banging and that's out of my control. So yeah, this is the USB 3.0 I got. I got one port on this thing, just one. The upgrade, the like G75 VW has four ports, this just has one. I do have a four port hub, but I'm not using it at the moment because I'm using a USB 3.0 docking station that you put hard drives and stuff in. So let's go ahead and unplug that for now since we're not using it. And then I'm gonna plug this in. And it turns green. Going to plug in this uh, micro SD, uh, flip it around the other way apparently, or not. Okay, it doesn't like go in there, how do I say it? Like it doesn't pop out, you gotta push it and then pull it out. Like some things you can like push it in and it pops it out. So Windows automatically recognizes it and there it is on my computer screen which you can't see right now. And if I take a file and put it on here, I wonder if it makes a noise or anything. Um, or not a noise, but okay, yeah, so it does have an activity light flashing when you transfer stuff to it. Now, this is just a like class 4 SD card, so we're not going to get USB 3.0 speeds out of it, unfortunately. It's just not going to happen. So we'll cancel that transfer, and then I'm going to take my full size 32 gig class 10 SD card that's supposed to get 30 meg read or write or whatever and put it in here but it's in the camera right now so I gotta stop recording and I'm gonna switch over to Camtasia now so the first thing you're gonna notice when you go to a computer and you put something in autoplay is gonna pop up if you have it enabled and check this out 
we have the 8 gig micro SD card from my Evo 4 GLTE, and then we also have the 32 gig one from my Canon 60D. So you can freaking have more than one card in there at the same time. Theoretically, if you had a um, compact flash and you had a memory stick um, from Sony, you could have, you know, the micro SD, the full size SD, the compact flash, and the Sony memory stick, whatever proprietary thing they use. You can have four different cards in this thing at one time. So we're going to go ahead and transfer. I'm going to create a folder called um, USB 3.0 adapter. Then I'm going to open up my Canon folder. I'm going to find my two video files. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and just cut them. And then I'm going to go to this folder and I'm going to paste them. Let's see if this is faster. I usually got about 26 to 20. Ooh. Oh my. 34? No way. Dude, with the actual one inside my uh, SUS G74SX that I'm using right now, I got 26 to 27. It never went higher than that. And about 95% of the time, it stayed at freaking like, um what like 26 the whole time every now and then it bounced back and forth between 26 and 27 but this is crazy this is 34 so I will not be using the one inside my laptop anymore that's just no I'm not this is faster so whenever I upgrade and get the 64 gig or 128 gig 45 megabit speed megabyte speed um, SD card I'll put a link to the one I'm talking about in the description of the video you're currently watching but whenever I get that I'll be able to transfer at those speeds of 45 megabytes per second that is insane I have been going at freaking 26 megabytes per second for months and months now. And now I'm able to go at 34. That is awesome. So what, what about this? What if we take these same files, we copy them instead of cutting them, and go back to that. And what if I paste it right here? How fast will it go then? I'm writing to the actual card now instead of reading. Okay, since the write speed of the card isn't as high as the read speed, which is pretty much normal, then we're still going to get about the same speed if we put this inside the actual SD card port or side whatever on the laptop and we transferred it. So it really wouldn't have any benefit of using the built-in SD card slot on my laptop compared to using the USB 3.0 thing. So the only time I'm really going to see an advantage is when I'm transferring footage from my camera to my computer. So right now I have an SSD installed. Um, it's a 480 gigabyte SSD by Corsair. It's like 500 megabyte write and 515 read or something like that. Um, I'll put a link to the one I have in the description of the video as well. But so it's it's pretty fast. Keep in mind, I have two hard drives in this thing. The second one's an actual like 7200 RPM drive. So when I transfer something from my SSD to here, it goes about 114 megabytes per second. But when I transfer from here to here, it's much faster. <laughs> uh. Um, I'll, while this is transferring, one second, let me just open up Defragger, which is probably going to open my, yeah, I'm using a dual monitor setup on my laptop. Um, I'm going to go to my settings. I'm not going to defrag an SSD, of course not, that's not something you're supposed to do. But I'm going to go to settings, options, and then show SSD drives. See? <laughs> oh, I need to transfer stuff from it to my other hard drive and then whenever I need more storage I just looked up this USB 3.0 docking station and I put like a two terabyte drive in there and it transfers at about 114 megabyte speeds talking that's the right speed to the actual hard drive so um, links to everything I'm talking about will be in the description of the video you're watching so um, yeah don't defrag an SSD it's not that's why I usually go in here and uncheck it so it doesn't show it and I don't accidentally defrag it but yeah there you go um, you're not going to see any bump in speed when you're writing to this card versus using the built-in SD card slot on my Asus G74SX or any other laptop. But you are going to see a big bump when you're transferring it from your SD card to your computer. Now, if you have like a Class 6 or a slower SD card that's not capable of going at speeds faster than 26, 27 megabytes per second, then you'd be just fine. You don't need to get this. But if you have USB 3.0, I recommend getting it. Because like I said, sometimes you just have, you know, 
you're trying to transfer one thing from like a micro SD to a full size SD and you only have one slot or you're trying to transfer something from one SD card to another and you only have one slot you got to transfer to your computer and then you got to transfer to the card so yes for the price hell yeah I recommend getting this device in a heartbeat well USB 3.0 adapter through U speed I highly recommend it and there will be links to it in the description of the video you're currently watching this is also tear copy before we end this video I can press this button and it's gonna automatically say it it's going to automatically eject the drive when it's complete. If you press this, it would shut down your computer when the transfer is complete. And this also verifies that if you use an MD5 and you match it. So it's going to tell me that the drive is ejected. Now I can remove it. So I don't have to go down here and remove it. Oh, that's something I do want to show you real quick. I'm going to plug it in before I end this. And you're going to see the autoplay. Come on, come on. See, there's the um, 32 gig SD card for my camera. And then the 8 gig micro SD card from my phone is right there. <laughs> and then when you go to safely eject it, you're going to see right here. Oh, cool. You can eject just a little like micro SD or you can just eject the full size. So now the full size can be safely ejected while I'm still transferring something to the um, 8 gig right here. Or I can just choose all of them at one time. So, yeah, this thing is freaking awesome. Go freaking buy it. It's worth it. It's just like ten, twelve dollars, something like that, or maybe fifteen. It's worth it. Get it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it when you do that. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out. Samsung Galaxy Note 2 full review part two is coming soon.